the CEO of Notify Logistics, and uh, Amelia Hopkins, the Executive Director, SOMO Africa. And we've just been having a few things on display right here on the table. I don't know if uh, the director will allow us to take a look at them, but there is so much from your organization, from, of course, you know, um, entrepreneurs who are working with you. And I'll just start from, we've seen the cup, obviously. Good stuff, guys. Then we have um, what we call a lesson um, back at home. T tell me about this lesson and the person making it. Um, you, you mentioned a lady, right? Yeah, so yeah. Janet is the founder of Lumen Thistle, mm -hmm. and they make uh, silk and cotton products out of Kisumu. So this is one of our businesses in Kisumu. All right. And it's all hand-woven um, by women in Kisumu, and they actually do everything from the uh, production of the mulberry plants, uh -huh. um, where the silkworms come from, right. to the actual production of the final product. So this is, is silk? Mm -hmm. Yep, it's wow. a silk and cotton mix. Okay, nice. Uh, we'll talk about the prices later. I have a few questions <laughs> in regards to that. And we also have something else on the table here. We have hand wash, uh, guys. Which camera? This one? This one? This one? This one? Yeah. <laughs> so we have uh, Glow Pop Organic. Um, and it was made in where? Korogosho, you said? Yeah, so this is Korogosho in Nairobi now, and mm -hmm. Judy is the entrepreneur there. Uh, and she, she produces all of, um, all of her own hand washes, sanitizers, and other types of detergents as mm -hmm. well. And it's peach flavor with oil. Yeah. And you guys actually help them go through the process of creating such, such um, items with experts as well who understand mm -hmm. the process of, you know, these kinds of... Yeah, so yeah. we'll involve a technical expert if the entrepreneur needs it. Mm -hmm. uh, in some cases, they already come with the skills to be able to produce uh, their products. Uh, right. For instance, with Lumen Thistle, we definitely did not teach Janet or any of those women mm -hmm. how to do that. That is all, all them um, producing that product. What we come in and do is provide the business um, training to mm -hmm. help them be able to actually launch the business right. and also um, help them with how do you brand and package and label your product in mm -hmm. a way that is enticing to the end consumer. Right. And then we go to my favorite. Um, hmm. <laughs> Mine Chili. too, actually. Yeah? <laughs> Everyone who watches the show, especially on Fridays, uh, we have a segment called um, In the Kitchen with Chef Manga. Mm -hmm. And we, we cook a lot with chili. Mm. And this is a special kind of chili. It has mangoes. I've never had chili with mango. Or rather, mango inch. I don't even know how to describe this. You will need to try it then. It's pickled mango and mm -hmm. chili. And it's made by an entrepreneur named Jennifer in Githerai. And it is amazing. It's, I put it on everything. I am not someone who is a very good cook. Mm -hmm. um, you put that on and it makes it seem like I am a great cook. Um, so if you ever come over to my house, plan yeah. to have that on your food. Uh -huh. So, so who, who's made this? Jennifer, uh, Jennifer. Um, yeah, is the founder of Scorch. Jennifer, um, you know, Amelia here just sold you. So I hope you give a very nice, I don't know, uh, discount if, if at all you're going to be selling this to her. But yeah, good stuff. And uh, smells amazing-ish. And then we have, <laughs> oh my God, it's quite far. Here we go. Peanut butter, guys. If you are still buying your peanut butter in uh, the supermarket, you need to switch. Bounty Nut peanut butter is way better than any of those brands you'll buy in the supermarket. Mm -hmm. So Rose is an entrepreneur out of Mathari. Mm -hmm. um, and, and similar to Jennifer, they both have a mission to support women in their communities to produce their products. And uh, that's, that's what she does. And she yeah. produces the best peanut butter in Nairobi. Yeah. Okay. And I'm sure someone would ask this question, actually something that Waweru did ask earlier on, are they... Are are they CAB certified, um, you know, up to the standards that are allowed in the market to compete fairly with other products of the same nature? Yeah, so when uh, a business comes into our program, they're not always KEB certified. We help them with that KEB certification, and mm -hmm. the production facility that I was discussing earlier will help with some of that process as well, uh, because the entire production facility will be KEB certified, and we will be ensuring that all the entrepreneurs get mm -hmm. the training they need to yeah. make sure. Yeah, and yes. you did mention that because I was, I was just going through the website, looking at some of the prices, and I'll just mention one that we can see right now. This lesso goes for 2500 That's a lot. <laughs> that is a lot. Uh, but you help them find the market for this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it depends on the product. Some of our products are more focused on our lower income um, demographic of people. Other ones are going to be focused on a higher mm -hmm. income group of people. But mm -hmm. remembering that with every product that you're buying, the the entrepreneur and their teams that you're supporting through purchasing that product. Uh, you can definitely buy mm -hmm. some internationally produced products that are imported here for cheaper prices than some of our products, but 
you by buying our products, you're buying products that are made in Kenya, made by entrepreneurs that are supporting their communities and you're supporting livelihoods yeah. of, of individuals. And mm -hmm. so remembering those, that piece of it as well is important when, um, when deciding how you're going to purchase. Good stuff. Um, Waberu, yes. coming back to you, mm -hmm. are you expen uh, your, your stuff uh, on, the, on the shelves as, as um, exquisite and as uh, quality as this? Because like you said, a lot of your, your, you know, your partners and the people who are renting your shelves are people who are mostly importing and others, of course, um, selling through you, through your, your, your shelves. Um, do you have issues of pricing? Yeah, so um, I think in totality what I can say, what we've learned from the vendors we have right now is, yeah, Kenyans are primarily very entrepreneurial and you have people who have great ideas. They have absolutely amazing skills on how to make things like peanut butter, like, you know, we, we have, we, I, I think I'd say that we are industrious as a people. Mm -hmm. um, pricing, of course, is an issue. Uh, and, and again, I, I appreciate the fact that they uh, train most of their um, clients on this because you'd find that simple things like the demographic you're targeting, you know, these are simple issues that would affect pricing. Mm -hmm. But most people may not have the, uh, an idea on how to price their products. Right. So you end up uh, having a scenario where someone will actually copy what the neighbor is doing. Mm -hmm. if, if you find um, peanut butter is being sold at 400 uh, for half a kg, yeah. then you price yours at 400. Uh, but you've not really put into focus your demographics. So you're targeting cost of production, mm -hmm. your marketing cost and whatnot. So I, I, I I do appreciate the value of training uh, to all the, uh, especially people in small, uh, small scale businesses, because the training is helpful. It, it allows them to actually now scale up uh, yeah. more successfully. Um, and as you mentioned, most people do not see their second, third birthday. Mm -hmm. Most businesses do yeah. not, primarily because of simple issues, business model, pricing, you know, you target demographic. Hmm. You cannot have a peanut butter that would target ideally every other demographic. <laughs> from a person in current to yeah. a person in... Mm -hmm. uh, like you know. this mango chili sauce. Yeah, I, I, you know, um, <laughs> growing up, <Yeah. laughs> these are not things we grew up with. Um, uh, and it, it tells you because it, it tells you the demographic we came from. Mm -hmm. um, our parents were not so wealthy. So these are things we, uh, yeah, we, we later came to see them as we, yeah. we you know, on, on grew our, up. Yeah, but, uh, but they, do, you, do you market for your clients? Uh, oh yes, we do, we do. We do. Like if, if now, um, Jennifer, I think it was Jen, Jen, one, of, one of these ones. Is, That's Jennifer. Uh, this is Jennifer? Mm -hmm. Okay, so assuming Jennifer brought this chili sauce to you and, and she puts it on your shelf, mm -hmm. yeah, um, she might market uh, on her end on Instagram and Facebook maybe, mm -hmm. but you guys also do the same and you say, when you come to um, Notify Logistics, we have chili, mango chili we have, hand wash and we have peanut butter and we have this beautiful mug. Yes, we actually uh, try to help them out in terms of marketing. So one, the convenience of having many, uh, creating a small community of uh, small businesses is that you get a lot of traffic, the food traffic. Because everyone, you know, as, in as much as everyone is marketing, everyone is sending their customers into the shop, we get to give clients a very holistic shopping experience. Mm. So if you're coming for peanut butter, if you want a shoe, if you want a dress, uh, you'll probably find them in, in, in our shops. Um, wow. And as a matter of fact, actually, we, this Friday we are opening our largest shop mm -hmm. uh, yet, which is, is here in town, mm -hmm. in Nairobi. And the same thing, we are talking of over 600 small businesses in mm -hmm. one location. Mm -hmm. So it gives you a lot of the shopping experience. is very holistic. So you guys are a supermarket? It is actually a supermarket <laughs> of small businesses. <laughs> yeah. You know, you, you, you'd find almost everything from mm. peanut butter to, mm -hmm. and it, it just tells you about the creativity of Kenyans, okay. you know, uh, on one part. But also we have an e-commerce uh, e e platform, mm. uh, notify.ca.ke, mm -hmm. where now we post all their products and we try to also market them. So Did you have a B Black Friday um, sale? Uh, no, we didn't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, are you going to have Christmas But uh, yes, we offers? do. We actually have the new shop we're opening. Uh -huh. It will have a one-week Christmas sale. Ah, Things nice. will be sold at incredible discounts. We're doing it in... Uh, conjunction with all the vendors we mm -hmm. have in, the, in that shop. All right, let's take a look at what you are saying on WhatsApp once again. Here we go. Hello, K24. I'm an educative, uh, oh, an educative program there on uh, business and finance. How can I get in touch with uh, Soma Africa to help me in my business? This is Rogo from Narok. Well, Rogo, do stand by because we'll definitely be giving you their contacts. Nani wengine akona savings. Hello, Wawero. How much is it to rent a shelf for Somo? Can they fund a vision to start a company? Well, Wawero, uh, sorry, is that Wawero or they're asking Wawero? Okay, but I guess Wawero, they're asking you if they can rent a shelf, mm -hmm. number one. Yes. So can they? Yes, yes, they can. The price is uh, 
we, we charge 3,000, mm -hmm. but size here mm -hmm. Christmas, we're giving at 2,5 mm -hmm. per month. Hey, should be Christmas to Ah, nani mwingine? From savings is the best way to finance a startup considering the risk of failure. Dennis Embu. Thank you very much, Dennis. All right. Good morning. Awesome discussion. I'm learning a lot. How much does it cost to rent a shelf at Notify Logistics? And do they support vendors to sell? Okay. Thank you. Um, good question there. Mm -hmm. So if I come uh, at that offer you've said for 2.5, mm -hmm. so what am I getting exactly? Is it like a shelf just... Like a, like a one meter shelf, am I getting like a shelf? No, you know, exactly. With very many spaces. It's, it, 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 it's a small shelf. We, I think it's uh, about three feet, which is about a meter mm -hmm. and one and a half feet. So uh, a meter high. is like that chair from yes. top to bottom. Actually, yeah, this would be an ideal shelf. Okay. Um, then here it, I put it allows everything you, in there. Yeah, it allows you to display your products. Yeah. Um, but we also have extra storage, storage space uh, on the back end of the, of the shops. So storage is where you can put a bit more of a product. Mm -hmm. So the shelf acts as a display point. So mm -hmm. the, when a customer is coming uh, to shop, they get at least a view of almost everything that is in the mm -hmm. shop. Mm -hmm. um, so if you're selling shoes, you may not be able to fit a lot of shoes in. Yeah, uh, in but a you can shop. put at least you know a red one and yes. a blue one and a green one and tell someone that we st this is what we have. You can yes. get it. If you want a pink shoe and it's not there, we'll mm. actually go back to the storage ah, okay. and bring you a shoe. Okay. Yeah. And then so this three thousand is per what? Per week? It's per month. Per month. It's it's a monthly cost. Mm. Um, you pay three thousand shillings per month. You get a shelf. Uh, we have shop attendants, so you don't need to be in the shop. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, they, we will actually take them through your product, mm -hmm. so they'll be able to sell on your behalf. Mm -hmm. We have someone to manage your deliveries at the end of the day, and then we have an inventory management system, mm -hmm. and we recently now launched the e-commerce platform. Okay. Yes. Nice. So someone was asking um, if you can fund a company. I, I, I don't know what they're talking about. Maybe, I don't know their company uh, yeah. or, or what business model they have, uh, but perhaps, just like he has explained, uh, you know, you can, this is how much you can get. But I remember you said that they can get anything from zero to 200,000 mm -hmm. uh, in terms of funding. But what if their idea is so huge, like Trump would say, so huge, that it needs like a million bob. <laughs> like it's hugely. It's, yes. It's, 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 so, yeah. so first with the um, initial piece of the question, we, we do fund businesses at the stage of just you have a vision for something you want to build. Um, you do have to go through our training program first. So it's three months of training before you would get to that stage where you can actually pitch your idea for investment. Uh, so that initial application is getting you into our training program first. Uh, in terms of the different, obviously businesses have different needs when they're launching. Some just need some bulk raw materials. Some need one machine. Others, what you were saying is they might need a million plus in order to really launch. I would figure out how can you uh, launch with as little capital as possible. How mm -hmm. do you start one part of your idea and build on it and build on it mm -hmm. and keep keep communicating that full vision that you want because uh, you'll find an investor who who will believe in that enough to be able to invest in that full vision. But if you limit yourself to I need this amount and yeah. only this amount Cause, cause and if I get anything <laughs> less I can't start you're going to you're going to be looking for that forever yeah. you need to figure out how can you start pole pole mm -hmm. and like you build it up over time I feel like that is what that viewer was asking like he knows what he needs and he just needs like 200 G's right now mm -hmm. to get his business off the ground he doesn't want your uh, what is it called your training or your, he doesn't want you you know looking over him so he's looking at you as a bank like I just need two hundred thousand guys. Can I get it? I, yeah. So does that happen? Or so I mean, first we're not a bank. Um, we are a partner in this. We want to help and grow businesses, and so we we look at every business individually and what that business needs, and try to advise accordingly on on what we think there. And we would never limit any business to say you should only want that amount of money to launch your business. We will help you try to find additional investors. We work with partners to provide additional debt capital. Uh, and, and so we will try to assist in any way possible to help with growing that business. All right. So if you want uh, a hookup with um, the investors, just holler at us. Speaking of which, how can they get, how can they get you? Um, I know that it's somoafrica.org, mm -hmm. but how else can we reach you? Yeah, so you can email us at contact at somoafrica.org if you're interested in getting involved in our program. Mm -hmm. Okay, and no telephone numbers. Are you on social media as well? Can they go check out, apart from just the website, can they, yeah. can they find you on Instagram, Facebook? Yeah, so um, it's SOMO underscore org. Uh, if you want to check us out on social media, for phone number, it's 
0809-258-5151. Okay. <laughs> uh, is that yours? Because it will start ringing right now. That is not my personal <laughs> number, no. <laughs> okay. uh, notify Logistics, uh, yes. for the guys who want to come and display their shoes and, and, and uh, unfortunately no fridges, but how can, they, how can they get to Notify Logistics? All right, so um, they, they can reach us to a number. It's 0724-709015. Um, they can also go to our website, notifylogistics.com, uh, social media, Notify Logistics, Instagram, Facebook, uh, Twitter, Notify Logistics, at Notify Logistics. All right. Yes. Um, and also, if you really uh, want to get in touch with them in case you didn't get those uh, details, you can always reach to us and we'll give you the, the contacts. Can, can they get, once they go to SOMO, they can get all these products um, yeah, online. our shop is right online and you can mm. purchase any of these products right there. Yeah, and will they be delivered? With a they will be delivered. Okay. <laughs> All right, good stuff. Thank you guys for coming. Uh, and of course, thank you for letting us um, get to know your business and understand it. Uh, same as you. I, I have a few ideas. I'll definitely, I'm definitely coming to um, SOMO because I need more than 200,000. <clears throat> we can chat. <laughs> we can chat indeed. Thank you very much back at home as well for um, letting us know what you think about the topic for today. And we'll be looking forward to meeting again tomorrow, same time in the morning. Actually, tomorrow I shall be hosting the CEO of Record Benkesa in Kenya, talking about also their Biashara and how they are relating with the community and people on the ground such as yourself. But do not go too far. K34 is, has more to offer rather. Coming up next is the Daily Brief. As for me, uh, on behalf of Shiko Kaitani and Jeff Mortet, Nasema Kwaheri, Lakini Kesho, bright and early.